What's up everyone, today we have one of the new like Crown Zenith tins basically, um, or I guess three, but yeah, they have the three different Galarian birds on them. Moltres, Articuno, Zapdos, this one's kind of beat up when I got it from Walmart, but yeah. I got these from Walmart, they're about like 20 bucks each. Um, they have four packs of Crown Zenith, and then they had a bigger version that had like one more pack. And I think that was the only difference, so I got the smaller ones instead. I don't think they had one of each of the big ones, so that's why I didn't go with that either. So I'm just doing one of each of the small ones, and I also have a Crown Zenith ETB that I'll open up also. But yeah, I remember the... Interesting that they use like kind of this style for the promo, for the character rares. I don't know if they've done that before. At least not like on a tin like this, so it's kind of interesting to see them just kind of put it in there as a promo. Let's see. 283. That's kind of a code card. And you get four crowns in the packs. Yeah. Um, if you guys want to see the bigger one, like ones I like another pack and then let me know. I don't think there's any difference besides the style of the tin, which the style of the tin is the just the bigger one that they've used in the path of it before, just with, you know, one more pack in them. So, it's kind of weird that they did that. Um, I know they usually do that in, like, other regions. So, like, America will get these small ones, while the UK will mainly get those, like, one just one more pack, or vice versa. But, you know, here, they, they have both. So, it was kind of interesting. Um, and I guess getting either is worth it if, you know, but, you know, the bigger tin's only like $5 more because you're paying $5 a pack anyway. And you only get one more pack from it. That's like the only difference. Oh, the Leon signed reverse. Oh, and the Nessa one, nice. Double signed. I think the only signed one that's worth anything over a dollar is the, um, Marnie, if I'm correct. I don't know if any of the other ones are. Oh wow, I am look look at this card right here. I'm gonna take a closer look at that one. That one got chopped really bad. I don't know what happened. And yeah, it's only that one, so I'd assume it would have been if anything got hit that bad, it'd be like almost all the commons or all the rares in a sheet, but it's just like the third to the last one, which is this chat out. Yeah, they killed this shout out on the cut. Oh my god. If you graded that, it'd be like a 7 at best. I don't I don't even know if it'd be 7. Ooh. I think this is the first time I got something different besides the water energy. Because I think I got the water energy two times for my first, um, like, patterned energy. Which looks really cool. Before, um... I got like, I mean, it took forever for me to get like any textured energy. And both times it was water for some reason. So finally now I got a steel one. <laughs> Code card. But yeah, I'm still enjoying opening up Crown Zenith here and there. <clears throat> I'm not sure how much more I'll open it. Um, I know a few more products are coming out for it, so I'll definitely open up those products. Like I think the Morpeko V Union box, and there might be one other thing, I don't remember. And comes out for it. Oh, the Deoxys! Oh my gosh, I haven't gotten this one before. It looks crazy. And a zero review, nice. Oh, that one looks insane. Just like jettisoning through the like ground, Mach five or whatever. That one in like the Mewtwo. I almost for a slot for it splits like in the Mind of the Mewtwo. I like really cool ones. I like a nice double banger in that one though. So, off to a nice start. Yeah, Crown Zenith is a set I can see going up, like, a lot in the future. And when, like, a lot of people like, because there's a lot of cool cards in this, and they're not, like, too hard to pull either. But I think, wow, this one is the same thing. Look at that. This one over here is, like, gutted. Oh, wow, a few of them are. Oh, my gosh. Eee. This print one for these tins is not good. Yeah, I have no idea where they printed the Crown Zenith for these since specifically, but 
or that one specifically, we'll see how they go in the next tins. But uh, Radiant, Charge of Boob, and then Neomars. Oh, is the Radiant really bad? Oh, the Radiant isn't bad, at least. So it's from a different sheet. I think it's the only one I got. I haven't gotten the Radiant Charizard yet. I think I've gotten only the Charger Bug and, um, Guard of? I don't remember what one is, actually. I feel bad. But yeah. So I haven't gotten the Radiant. Uh, Char Charizard, just surprising. Radiants just feel like they're not as easy to pull. In this set. Maybe just that's me. They usually need to make the Charizard hard to pull, you know? You know and then like the, also the textured energy just felt like they were really hard for me to get. <laughs> I just wasn't lucky with them for the longest time. Even though they're like not like the best thing to pull. But still, just kind of like, usually for something that's like, you know, not hard to pull, you wouldn't expect it to be that hard to pull. Moltres. Moltres looks cool with like the scenery from lying down. My favorite Moltres is still that alternate art one from Shining Rain though that I want to get one day. But I don't plan to open up Shilling Rain unless it just kind of comes in products randomly. Alright. First pack for Moltres 10. We'll see. Wow, this code card. God. <laughs> Two, three, four. Okay, these ones don't look as bad. I hope. Giraffe. Eggs. A disc of love. No, we got my pawn. Paris. Nice little Paris. Ooh, an aggro. I think this is the first. Is this first? This might be the first time I've gotten this character um, rare. I think I. I don't know what ones I've gotten. I think I've got. I've gotten like the uh, other ones. I don't think I've got like the Pikachu. But I don't remember off the top of my head. Code card. Well, his code card are just. Rough. Well, it looks like it was just that tin that had those couple bad cards, and they were like the commons or uncommons, I think, anyway, so it's not like a big deal. When it comes to like the rares and reverses, though, that's when it can be very concerning. Especially, like, you know, I want the print quality to be good. Leafeon. I didn't even. I kind of forgot Leafeon is in here because it has the, uh, <laughs> the V Star trainer gallery. So, like, alright, we gotta make a normal V for it. So you can evolve it to the V-Star from the set. Even though there's other Leafeon Vs from like Evolving Skies and other promos. And it just works just fine. But hey. What am I to say? Shoes. Luxio. Lost Vacuum. But yeah, soon uh, Scarlet and Violet should be shipping to everyone for the normal release. Thing, I think because I think as of recording it's a week before but I think when this comes up it'll be like the day of release for Scarlet and Violet so hopefully next Friday dep it depends when it mine from the Pokemon Center comes in and some of like the other eBay store I bought from comes in if they can get it like earlier like before the weekend then I can get this up the um, Scarlet and Violet um, opening on Monday but if not then um, it's going to be next week on Friday and I'll probably have like a booster box or two to open for two different videos and some other stuff like the ETBs and three pack blisters and I'll be looking for like um the sleeve blisters when I go out and stuff like that. Red Tang, you know. Oh, this is like the third one of this I've gotten. Oh my gosh. Crazy. Oh uh, man. Oh man, that box wasn't that good though compared to the other ones. Only Leafy on Paris. On the last tin, the Articuno, and then we'll get into a Crown Zenith ETB to finish it all off. Come on. Ah, here's my bear. Knuckle powers. To open this. Usually this like smooth and soft plastic isn't as hard to open as that hard plastic that they use sometimes. It's kind of nice they switch back to it. I'm just really bad at still opening it. So, I'm curious when they decide to actually do that. If it's like a first print one, it has the, pla the soft plastic, but then like anything after, after has a hard 
plastic kind of going around it. Because they do that with like um, a lot of stuff, I think. Code card, and there's the Articuno. In terms of design, I think my favorite from the three of them would probably be the Articuno. I, I think it looks really cool and majestic. Well, the Moltres is kind of interesting too, but... Yeah. Alright. Well, let's see. Right now, the Galarian Mol or, um... The Galarian Zapdos has the best pull so far. The Moltres was pretty bad, to say the least, but... Who knows? They did have quite a few of these at uh, Walmart. I was just I was debating if I wanted to do two of each for the video or one of each in like an ETB. Um, and obviously, I ended up going with uh, the latter. Charger Bug Radiant, another Charger Bug Radiant. Why, why, why Radiant Charger Bug? It can be any other Radiant, please. Uh, Charger Bug. I've already gotten him in this opening <laughs> too. Could have been on any of the other ones. Yeah, it seems like Crown Zenith is being a little bit easier to find when they release a new product, at least. Like when um, they released these, they had a ton of these tins and a bit few of the big ones and a few ETBs, so. Definitely not as hard to find at the moment. I know a lot of people are opening this setup because it's a really nice set. And so, when ending off the Sword Shield era before, we get into. Wow. My luck is really bad right now, though. Before we get into. Scarlet and Violet. Four. Water. Oh. But yeah. Um. I have to. After Scarlet and Violet, I have no idea what the next thing I'm going to open up is, just more Scarlet. Wow, my luck is really bad right now, isn't it? Scarlet and Violet. I'm not sure what else I'm going to open up after that. Um, just more like an ET... Like the ETBs, the Pokemon Center ETBs, then like, uh... Obviously the booster boxes, and then like, sleeve blisters, three packs, etc. Like the normal stuff, and then... Whatever, I guess, ancillary products come up with like the mix of pro packs and stuff. And then whatever uh, Crown Zenith stuff really stuff. Ooh, Deoxys, nice. That's a cool character. Well, I will say the only good tin was the, uh, <laughs> the, the, the Zapdos one, because this one only had two. And then the Mortals had three. But I like these more than the Moltres, so I think I'd put the Moltres at last, even though I had two, one more pull. So, yeah, uh, that was rough, but we're moving into the ETB. Hopefully, uh, I'll get something nice out of here to... Ooh, at least soften the blow of Crown Zenith. Surprisingly, not being good with the pulls, which it usually is. Uh, and you've seen this ETB a million times. I'll just try and eat everything to my left on the couch. And then there's your ten packs. Read them loop. And yeah, let me get the promo out before I forget that it exists. Now Ten packs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Crown Zenith, please. I was going really uh bad in the last couple of two tins. Hoping I can get one of the golds I'm missing. That'd be a nice thing. Like the uh, I think I'm missing the Arceus and uh. I think Palkia, because I think I know I pulled the Giratina, and I don't think I, and, and I think I pulled the Dialga Gold. And after that, I just made me missing like Mewtwo V Star. That'd be like one of the other big ones, and um, 
some other ones here and there. Ooh, Dunsparce. Cool little character over there. I'm gonna have to do a character rare or something if I'm when he evolved like an EX of the Dun Sparse and like the Dun the Dun Sparse. I think it's longer. Oh, I, I took the pack out and left the code card in. Somehow. I don't know how I did that. Oops, and I revealed what that there's something in there. My skills of opening packs are unparalleled, I tell you. I can open a pack with, oh, without the code card leaving the pack. Hop, signed, and... Ooh, your closet VMAX, nice. A cool VMAX. Even though, I don't know, there's nothing like two praise that comes in like the normal um, slot. It's all about like the reverse slot for crown being compared to like some other sets. It's all about the main set, like the Walking Skies and all the alternate art sets. Code card. So that's kind of how they went with it from Brilliant Stars on, or, or I don't know. I guess what set do they technically not like do alternate arts? This one, right? Because this is one. There's no alternate arts. It's just the gallery, which kind of has alternate art styles. Ooh, Red UV Star. It's talking about kind of alternate art styles in the base on it. This is kind of like this style, where it's almost like an alternate art. I mean, it, it kind of looks like one, but it's not. Or Gigas pulling the island. Don't know if I've gotten that one before, I don't remember. That's a cool looking one. Right. Next one. Water. Oh, well, there's the wreck. <laughs> It's interesting, sometimes, like, with these holiday sets, or whatever you wish to call them, they have them, like, as all hollows in the rare slot, and sometimes they just don't like this set. They, there's hollows sometimes, and hollow, sometimes there's not. But then, like, uh, with, I think, what was it? Was it Hidden Fate? No, no, it wasn't Hidden Fates. Hidden Fates, I think, was the same. Um, it might, I think it might have been Champion's Path. It was always a hollow, at least. Which is weird when they decide when and when not to do that. I'm curious how they dictate when they will and won't make it an all hollow or a guaranteed hollow in the set. So, because Champion's Path is the main one I remember that did do that. I don't think Shining Fates or Hidden Fates did it though. So I guess that's why this one didn't. But like, it's, it's just weird. Hat. It's a hat. All right. Come on, Crown Venus. Come on. Water. Fire. I'm not good at guessing the enemy. Dusclops. Cherubi. Execute. A rock. A rock. I love. Marie. I think this one I might have gotten before. It's a really cute, fluffy Marie. I don't know what ones I'm missing though. I think... I don't think I've gotten Taylor or Swallow or whatever. And then I don't think I've gotten Pikachu. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I haven't gotten Pikachu. Um, for the nine card artwork one. I got the secret rare one. Not that the nine... Nine of them... Like... I don't recall. The one that makes up the god pack in Japanese, basically. Come on. Oh, I skipped this. Friends in Hisui. Pancham. Switching. Snow Rut. Mitten. Zero. Alright. Three packs left. Hope you guys have been enjoying. If you have suggestions, always leave them down in the comments. There's certain sets you want me to try and open up more of that I can afford. Which is mainly just not many, unfortunately. <laughs> Or, um, like, products if you want me to try and just go for, like, whenever stuff newly releases comes out. Which is me and all I've been doing, because, yeah, I just kind of doing what I can here and there and whatever I can afford, so. 
That's why I can't do videos too often. I only do them like, you know, sometimes I do, I'm able to do them like two times a week. Sometimes I skip them and just do the shorts for um, a couple days. Steel. I really like that kind of art style in this one where it has the, um, almost like a black and white, like kind of manga style. Um, that's kind of, I don't know how to describe it. Like a comic in a way is what it, is what it feels like. Almost. With the sinking. Alright. Two more packs. Grass. Grass. I guessed it right. I skipped the rest of the carrier. I did not organize that right at all. Can... Draft. Sand. Uh, Ooh. Radiant. Oh, this is like the first time I think I pulled this radiant. Wow. Interesting. It's always been charger, but before this, I didn't even know. That. I forgot about it. And a Mew. It's all right. I'm using here. Radiant. All right. Last pack. Hopefully we can end on something crazy. If not, uh, I guess this opening was not crazy. Um, there is one like kind of nice, two nice pulls. I guess one in the um, the tin, the first tin, and one okay one in here, and just some sparse hits here and there. But yeah, hopefully, like I said, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Definitely leave comments, um, suggestions about what you'd like to see open or just kind of like how to style these videos a bit more to be more interesting besides my monotone deadpan voice. Vulcanian and an Orangu. Man, why does this Vulcanian seem so thick? But yeah, that wasn't crazy opening like Crowns Against can be. The first 10 was the best by far, but nonetheless, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Peace.